Hey everyone, welcome back to Discovering Dayton. We are at Carriage Hill Nature Center today. We've been to the park tons of times to hike and stuff like that. Mikey's here and uh, we've always wanted to stop by here, look at the animals and stuff while they're open. So uh, let's check it out. We did not bring Mimi on this trip because, as you can see, no dogs allowed. So if you come here, just keep that in mind. It's not meant to be open. here it says it's just for volunteers only pretty cool look at all the horses What? Yeah, you go to bathroom. <laughs> Back in my day, this is what I had to use. Come on in, check it out. Wow. No TP. Do you know what the corn cobs are for? Oh yeah, I'd wipe my ass with them. <laughs> Another old house in the property. So cool. Dude, I keep hearing something near this old house. If I catch a ghost, oh, this place could be haunted, low key. Dude, I'd pee my pants for sure. <laughs> They've also got a garden out here. Looks good. This must be a place where they kept their firewood. Interesting. So just like an outside fire pit, I guess, to cook on maybe? Yeah, because there's a chimney. Hmm, cool. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. Obviously, I've seen them in older homes, but never outside. Switch to wash your clothes. Did you know that? This is like what our grandparents and great-grandparents used. When they were little, at least. Pretty cool, huh? Checking out the barn. I bet they have some nice wagon wheels in here. Ooh, I bet my papa would love to have that. Ooh, and that one. That was recently painted. So we're all the way behind the property now. Didn't even know this was back here. This is awesome. Ooh, it's the Blue Lagoon. Now we're back on what we think is the horse trail. Never been back here because honestly, it says no dogs allowed and we always have Mia with us when we do anything outdoorsy, so that's why. But super glad we're checking it out today. It's very pretty back here. And I told Mikey, let's go left because I saw an old building. So we're about to check this out and see what it is. Can't really tell from here. See it guys? Maybe it's literally just for horses, like a pit stop or something. It's a woodworking place. 
you know, they chop wood and they burn and they put it here. here. Oh, oh, like just for storage? Looks like some type of furnace too. Now this is where they burn the body, they cremate the bodies. Come check it out. You'll be our test, your, our contestant. An old graveyard Tiverson. of the Arnold family. A guy just told us about that is who originally had this property and the homes on this property. 1852, pretty old. Then 1827, yeah. that one was born. That's crazy. Henry. This came from right here, walked the trail, and this is their house. There's a lot of homes on this property though, so I wonder, I just wonder the history. It would be cool if they had the signs up that say like, this is so-and-so's house. But so far I haven't seen anything like that. It is uh, a little humid. A little bit humid, a little. But it's a beautiful Saturday with my baby. <coughs> Bless you. Bye, Jimmy. You're next. She thinks my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. <laughs> so you really think it's not haunted? Not that it's haunted, but there could just still be some lingering spirits. Really wish I had my cannon. I could catch an orb. So this is the main road out here. We have passed this several times because the actual metro park is down that way but um this is the barn that connects to the arnold's family home it's huge what kind of fish are in there we're back now walking in the woods <gasps> really guys look what I'm wearing my white dudes I had no idea that we could go way back in the woods back here great it's probably a creek oh my gosh it's so muddy <laughs> okay <laughs> get on my back. I don't know. Or I could just take my shoes off. Probably feels good, don't it? It does. I'll just take my shoes off. I mean, I have sandals on, so I don't know. Ow. This was a bad idea. You're halfway there. I know, but... Just go keep walking. Can walk out here and grab my hand, please? Really? Yeah, what if I slip on this rock? Smile. <laughs> Everybody, she made it. Better than getting them muddy with my muddy feet. No. Go okay. dry them off in the grass. Uh, Everybody, if she puts her dirty, wet feet in those white all, shoes, that's going to ruin them. The water would not get these dirty. It was the mud, and now my feet are gonna be very muddy. Wow, well this took a turn. I had the good idea, everybody. Ouch. Take a back ride? Yeah, please. And the journey continues. Shoeless Danielle. The shoeless saga. Continues. Back to civilization. Shoes are on the feet. They didn't get dirty. Score. The things we do to keep our shoes clean. Am I right or am I right? right. Anything for the hay dudes. We're now in the visitor center, cooling off. We've got some things about history here, like all of the things we saw while walking around out there. We've got the farming equipment, which is really neat, pretty cool. Mikey's learning about women's work. She'll be able to help me. Always say, like mother, like daughter, but Emma just doesn't seem to be able to work the senior sewing machine very well. 
That is it. We checked out the entire nature center. Very, very cool. Highly recommend. It's all free. Like, beautiful day, beautiful Saturday. Great thing to do with your family or significant other or even friends. Hey. We had fun. Didn't I we? pick some uh, oh, yeah. plants. I'm gonna feed the donkey. Gonna feed the donkey before we leave. We'll show that to you guys. Wanna try it? Oh, really good. You wanna try? Thank you. Okay, guys. See its teeth? Yeah. Hey, you guys share. <laughs> it's like, I want a mom. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>